Hi, Mamata. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly how to use Jira to um, open a bug, you know, close a bug, and things like that. So by the way, Jira is um, the number one defect management tool. It's very popular because of the price. You know, so Jira is, is quite cheap, and um, a lot of companies use it. So let's get started. To use Jira, I've given you the, the link already. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to sign in into Jira. OK, so I've already signed in. Now, once you signed in, what you want to do is go into Project. And um, I open up a new project for you. So I call that project HIPIT Internship. So click on that project. Now, once you click on it, you have what we call a sprint. What is a sprint? A sprint is a life cycle. So it's work we do for a short period of time. And as you can see in here, this sprint is going to go on until July 20th. So basically, I have opened a two weeks sprint. Okay. So the idea is, you know, you're going to come in here and you will create, oh, and you will create um, all your defects inside of this sprint. And it's very simple. Just go to create. Make sure the task, the issue type, sorry, make sure the project name is the right place. So it is HIPIT internship. Um, the issue type, make sure it's a bug because you found something wrong. You give it a summary. So I can say Mamata. Um, demo defect um, assigned to somebody always assigned to me when you find a defect so scroll down and find my name Ty Allen. the reporter will be you by um, automatically so you don't have to do anything there the environment what I'm looking for here is the build number of the software you're testing how do you get that if you go into your HIPAA software Every HIPIT software has a build number. As you can see here, the build number is 6761. To get that thing again, yeah, there you go. So you move the mouse over the icon, over the logo, sorry, and you will see the build number. So it is 6761. So I'll bring that back in here, and I'll type in version 6761. Why do we need this? This is very important because when I have to re, you know, reproduce this problem, I need to know exactly what build this problem exists in. Because as you know, we have many, many different builds. Now, the next one is your description. And in your description, what you're doing here is you're going to tell me exactly what happened. The idea is make it short make it concise, you know, use pictures. So if you have an attachment, show me pictures. Pictures speak a thousand words. So um, pictures, I'm very, you know, make it very, very concise. And that's it. Now, lastly, make sure the sprint, you select the right sprint. And the sprint here is the sprint ending July 20th. So you select that, and you press Create, and that's it. So that's how you log, see? So now once you log it, it goes into the right sprint, and I can see um, how many defects you logged. Once I work on it and I verify it, I'll move it here to in progress. And once it's been fixed and it's ready for you to test, I'll move it here to Done. Then you can pick it up and test it. Okay. So this is a very short crash course on how to use Jira. Um, I have a class week five that actually shows you more, you know, on, on how to use Agile, Jira, you know, create a project and things like that. But for now, I think this should get you going. Okay. Now, the other question you asked me was, you want to see how other students or other interns are creating defects. 
Um, so Bakar joined, you know, he joined the course at the beginning. He used Jira. You can go in there to see how he's been using Jira. So, you know, this is some of his work he's done. You can open them up, right click, say open a new tab. And you can get a knife, you can get a feel for how, you know, past students have been logging defect. Okay. So now we have a lot of projects in there. You can pick and choose, you know, whichever one you want to look at. This is Goldie's sample project. And you can see exactly what they've done. Now, some of them have nothing inside of them. What you can do is this. Just, you know, keep going until you find something that has, you know, that has a lot of issues inside. This has nothing as well. You can say view all projects. And there are quite a lot of them that they use in class. We can try maybe, oh, this is yours. I see you created a new one. <laughs> Let's try this one, patient privacy. Oh, so there are a lot of projects that don't have, <laughs> I have to close them off myself. I think there are a lot of them. Let's try this one. Okay, so this has something, right? So you can see what gold it did here. All right, so you open it up and you just kind of see how they all, you know. So this is, I love defects like this. You know, it's straight to the point. It's very easy to read. You know, the, the title message makes sense. And at the end of it, there's a picture that, you know, I can look at to see exactly what the problem is. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for from you as well. And I put, you know, I put my, my feedback and we can communicate back and forth. Okay, so this is it. I will share this video with you on G Drive so you can download it from my G Drive.